Girona because I've heard it was a great place for riding, but I could never imagine how incredible it was. It's cyclists everywhere, the roads are amazing, the food is incredible and the weather. Okay, I'm gonna stop here because I think I'm getting you jealous and the, I don't want that. Today we're here because I'm gonna show you my favorite ride. It's called Roca Corva, it's just up here. And I'm lucky enough because I'm gonna be joined by Heather, our own GTM presenter, and she's gonna tell us all about it. Let's come and see. Where is Heather? I told her to meet me here 15 minutes ago. We're gonna be late. Maya. Hey. Really, Heather? Come on, I told you we were going up Roca Corva. You need all the energy you can get. We're going up there. Really? <laughs> oh my God, you're crazy. Oh, I couldn't resist. I mean, I've seen so many pictures of triathletes on Instagram. And it's as beautiful as it looks. Uh, oh, oh, give me a second. You may recognize this road. It's a cycling paradise for all the riders that live around Girona. Roca Corva is hands down the most famous and challenging climb in Girona. Pro riders love it, but so do amateurs, and I think I've seen a couple of triathletes around too. It is nearly 10 kilometers long with an average gradient of 7%. It's fairly similar to Saca Lobra in Mallorca. The only thing it does not have is that many switchbacks. And the good thing here is the first you go up and then it's a easy relaxing downhill straight to the cafe. We set off on the short ride to the outskirts of Girona to the start of Roca Corva. Heather, you're really lucky of doing this climb with me today because getting to Roca Corva is not that easy. Even though it's only 20 kilometers from Girona, once you get to Bagnolas, it's just tricky to get to the start. We're just past kilometer one, Heather. What do you think? Well, I think I'm feeling quite comfortable at this pace, but I mean, I've still got a lot of gears left and it's very deceptive on the camera, but this is quite flat at the moment. But I'm concerned by some of these kind of lumps in front of us. Yeah, it's that's, quite intimidating. That's what I thought the, the first time I did it. I'm like, oh, this is easy, especially because the road is pretty nice. Yeah. But once you get up there, woohoo! <laughs> Can't wait. After a short ride, we were into the first climb. Uh, this four or five percent we start to see in the next few kilometers. As you can see, the pavement is not that smooth. It's still okay, I can cope with it. Oh yeah, you're from Britain. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I agree. <laughs> this is not that good for Spanish. What I love about this climb is that every kilometer you get a sign like this. It says which kilometer you're at, the altitude, the percentage, and then what you're missing. So we still have 8.8 .8 kilometers to go to the top of Roca Corva, that it's 970 meters. It's a good thing to have. You can just put it like, I'll get to the next one and next one and get some information on the road. I was not lying. Gone were the smooth roads. We were onto the true Roca Corva tarmac. I thought it, you were making it up with a nice smooth start. What's going on here? No, this is what I talked about at the beginning. The, the easy part is just when you start because the tarmac is, is perfect. But just after that little downhill, you start coming up and the tarmac is just like, if you were riding cobbles. <laughs> yeah, I have to watch out for that on the descent, I think. At least it's dry today. Oh yeah, I have a funny story of the descent. Yeah? I have a Roca Corva tattoo in my hand. Oh. I was coming down and there was some gravel in one of the switchbacks and I just flew. Okay. I think you can still see my skin. I'll show you. <laughs> okay, great. I look forward to that. Oh, that's it. I'm now out of gears. That is my bottom gear. And Maya, sneakily, has got a compact. So not only is she stronger than me, she's got more gears left, which I think is a little unfair. Maya, are we here? Is that it? 
Oh, we still have some to go. We're, we're going to stop because this is a Spanish thing to do. We always get that photo with the signs. <laughs> well, Maya, you pointed a sign out and I thought, you know, any excuse for just a little breather, just taking a seat. What, where, how far have we got to go? Oh, we still have 400 meters what? to go. <laughs> so we like have a K and a half left or something, no? Yeah, but that's the beauty about Roca Cuerva. <laughs> it's just, it's brutality. You have to suffer it to okay. just enjoy it. Well, it's a nice place to stop because behind you right now, the view is incredible. And at least it shows that we have climbed something. Yeah, I love the Pyrenees. Well, this is a teeny respite, but and we've only got a couple of k to go. But for what Maya said, we've got about as much climbing to go as we've done in the last 8k, which concerns me slightly. And this might be the last time that I have enough oxygen to talk to you guys. Hola. ¿Qué es lo que recoges? Wow, qué bien. Cada año ya estoy yo pendiente de cuando bajan. Ah, y de y de qué árbol está? Ah, wow. Ah, no hay más, eh. Ah, sí, espérate. Hasta luego. Mmm. We just had one climb to go, a tough one, but it will be worth it. Oh my gosh, yes. This is the top. We're there, we made it. Oh, my legs are a little bit like jelly, but I can't wait for this view you've talked to me about. My... Oh, it's amazing. So oh. let's see. Oh, wow. Now I can see why my legs feel tired. <laughs> I told you it was worth it. It's just, oh, it's crazy to think that's where we started this yeah, morning. Yeah, that's where you were swimming this morning. Yeah. Oh my, I had such great intentions of, you know, I got my swim in and the bike and I plan to go for the run, but my legs, I think, are a little bit too wobbly for that. Plus, <laughs> well, you know, plus I do want to enjoy that descent, but we're triathletes and on GTM, that's what we do. Oh my God, you're crazy. But you guys like um, coffee and cake and I can, yeah. I can join you on that one, I think. I can go to the cafe on the other side. I'll just sit there and wait and you can do whatever I'm you good, want. I'm good, I'm okay. good. <laughs> well, Maya, now that I've finished, I can thank you. My legs at one point were cursing you slightly, but I actually did really enjoy it. And I must admit, I want to do more with GCN because there's quite a few little stops and I enjoyed that, so thanks. Oh, I'm really glad that you enjoyed it. Hopefully you at home did as well. So give us a thumbs up if you liked it and don't forget to click on the globe to subscribe if you want to see more epic hill climbs quick thank you and if you want to see more from gtn where we sometimes work a little bit harder than those guys over at gcn well go check us out hasta la próxima Ciao.